Hello to all my Wolfpack members out there. My name is EJ, and in this video, we are going to be looking at the newest episodes of Wolfpack. I missed one week from being sick, but I am not missing this week with its oh my god, what the hell ending. I knew something was ooky spooky with that girl. Let's get into it. We're going to be jumping into Wolfpack episode 5. Like I mentioned in the intro, sorry for missing the last episode of it. I have been enjoying the show. I do think there is a lot of worthwhile content here. It's not the best. There is definitely moments that just feel so low-budget teen drama. But on the other end, I'm actually really invested in the story, especially me trying to figure out who the hell lit this fire. Why? Why am I more invested in that than our four main characters? It's strange, but that's also my journey with Wolfpack, with me still enjoying this show, even in episode 5. But this episode, to me, is the turning point moment. This is where things really picked up. We not only had all four of our characters a bit more established, they're also at a party dealing with other characters. I love getting our four with the rest of the high school setting, but we're also getting stuff with Ramsey's character. I love the Ramsey and Garrett stuff. I could watch those two flirt all the time. But whoa, Sarah Michelle Gellar's Detective Ramsey has a crazy ass ending of this episode. We are at spoilers, so you know what's going to happen. She smacks that police officer upside the head, says, I know all about werewolves. And I'm like, oh, but it, it, it definitely had the edit of making her seem more evil and more menacing that I don't know if we're going to go exactly that route. There could be more layers to her character, but I liked this hook. This made me more intrigued for next week's episode. That's exactly what we need to be doing to cap off these episodes. This was a pretty strong one. I like the character development. I like the moments. We got some good gore at the end. And the wolf actually appeared and made a big splash, no pun intended. Yeah, let's get into this episode because there's some pretty good things to talk about. For the recap section, we're going to break it off into the four group first, and then we'll talk about all the Detective Ramsey stuff closer to the end of the recap. So our main four, we have Blake, Everett, we have uh, what was Harlan and Luna. There's a lot going on with them. They're still trying to figure out the mysteriousness of all of what the hell's happening. They're still getting that anonymous phone call that's leading them to places to go help. Like there is a car accident where a woman is getting attacked by the wolf, the, the creature monster wolf thing, and they can't really help her. It's kind of a, a tragic scene where they're really trying to be these heroic people, but it's not working yet. They're not connecting. These four are not a pack yet. Though they're also figuring out maybe the creature doesn't want to kill them. It's leading them to places. There is maybe possibly two creatures because it always feels like there is the one that is the, the, the more guardian presence, which is supposedly maybe, maybe Harlan and Luna's dad, who was a coyote who got turned into the actual monster. That, that that stuff, I need to know about the evolve evolution of the wearer creatures. Y'all know about that? Is that a Teen Wolf thing? Can y'all explain that to me? I'm sure they're going to explain it a bit. So yeah, we have Harlan and Luna still developing their backstory with their stuff with Garrett. And then there's also the Blake and Everett flirting still. We'll talk about the party thing in a moment, but I still don't buy it. It is not my thing. Yeah, there's just a lot with them. We're finding out that the protection stuff, we found out them trying to help somebody, and then we basically end up at the party scene. Though before the party, there is the most homoerotic competition between Everett and Harlan. They are trying so hard to one-up each other. To me, they have more sexual chemistry than uh, Blake and Everett that they're trying so hard to push on us. I feel it more between Everett and Harlan. Those two characters are very interesting. There's like a fake machismo. None of them give me like macho bro energy, but this episode was really trying to sell that that's the rivalry here. I don't know, but this homoerotic ass weightlifting scene, I'm like, what is this show? Who is this for? This was so strange, but this was a way that Harlan got some shrooms to sneak into a party. They are at the party. They're not really supposed to be there, especially because Blake's like the outcast girl. Her one former friend's there. The friend, oh my god, remember when she's trying to kick them out and then they end up sampling her shitty voicemail into a song? And I'm like, 
what is this show? This is so weird. I don't know. The whole party scene was weird. I'll talk about what was the big oh my god moment of the party. Other than Harlan trying to flirt with somebody. And then it's just like, did he just say the word cock? And I'm like, oh my god. Time and place, and you did it at my birthday dinner. Like, what is this show? It truly is like somehow so teen CW drama, and then sometimes it's trying to be so raunchy and so progressive. I do appreciate that. So look, the party's here. They throw, I believe, maybe Cyrus's. They throw somebody's phone into the pool. He goes to get it and sees the creature. The creature's at the bottom of the pool, about to come out and attack everybody. And they all run into the house. Not just the four, but everybody. So I used to think that the four was just maybe seeing a vision of a creature. But nope, seems to be a very real thing that is about to attack them. That was a, the first good cliffhanger of this episode. Then they have the actual ending, the actual cliffhanger. I was impressed that both of this made me actually want to legit watch episode 6. Not just out of habit, but because I want to know what the hell's happening. Now, on the other side of Wolfpack, we have all of the Detective Ramsey, the Garrett stuff, the police drama, which was pretty good. They're still trying to figure out who started the fire, but we actually progressed on that story more than I think we progressed with the creature, the, the wolf stuff. So, Detective Ramsey believes it's Cyrus. Cyrus had a father who was a firefighter. There's connections. They're trying to put the pieces together. They go to that one scaffolding, that one building that was being built, where they were able to overlook the fire. Or, yeah, I, I like this moment. I liked that Ramsey and Garrett are still connecting. They're still building some trust there, some trust there. She tells them that her son passed away in a fire. She's like, I want the backstory with Luna and like uh, Harlan. How do they get into your life? There are some moments. They're bonding. They're flirting. Sarah Michelle Keller is good with tall, dark, brooding men. I'm more of an angel than a spike. Well, actually, to be honest, I'm more of a team Buffy than a team man and those men. But still, I like this. I think Sarah Michelle Keller has really good chemistry with this guy. But what she has good chemistry with was that damn light when she hit that boy. Oh my goodness. Not only did we figure out drones possibly started the fire. Yes, Garrett's robotics-ish class. There's the 3D printer. They basically figure out drones were sent from the scaffolding so that the arsonist can watch it all go. They're getting some clues. I'm like, wow, pro progress. The drone stuff, that's an interesting twist. Did not expect that. So they're kind of investigating the buildings and, you know, Detective Ramsey's walking around with a security guard. They stumble on a pile of bodies and I'm like oh my goodness and he's just like what happened to these and she goes they're werewolf attacks and he's like what she goes the the supernatural creature she's like baby werewolves catch up have you not seen like American werewolf in London and he's like uh, duh. and she just smacks him in the head kills him puts him into the pile and I'm like what like is this going to tie into her dead son is she a werewolf hunter, which I originally predicted early on? What is her character? What is her motives? Is that why she's trying to get close to, like, Garrett to get to, like, the Harlan and Luna stuff? Wait till she finds out about Blake and Everett. Like, this opened the door. I knew this was happening. There's just She wasn't just going to be an arson investigator. There was going to be more to her character. And this was exactly what I needed to really sell me. Sarah Michelle Gellar is possibly evil on Wolfpack. The four are, you know, becoming the four a little bit more. I'm growing on this core group of youngsters. I feel old dealing with them each and every week. But overall, not so bad. I like this episode. But what did you all think? What did you think of episode five? What do you think of Wolfpack so far? Share your feelings down in the comments below. Also, if you're not following me on my other channel, what are y'all doing? You're only getting half the story. Like, go watch my other reviews on Flickering Myth. There's a link up here. Check it out. Subscribe. All that jazz. Let's talk about Wolfpack Episode 5 down below.